Hey guys, what's up? Steven here, and this is a continuation of our playlist of our how, getting to know the UIs and how to create the UIs, getting an understanding of it. So in our previous video, we know, we have uh, tackled the how to resize the GUI or the the frames inside the your main GUI. Um, we've tackled on the anchor point, the position and the size, so you would, you can support mobile and uh, PC devices as well as the other stuff. So the, those sizes are so that it wouldn't be outsize the resolution. So we've tackled that, and now we're on to like kind of the designing part uh, of your mainframe. So one thing we're going to tackle, or two things, or we're, we're going to tackle two things, which is the border. And one cool way to like edit, edit the border of your frames instead of it looking like this square sad frame. So let's start with the actual border color. We have here the border, which has an outline. And a border pixel so you don't see any actual border even if you have a black I have a black color on it because we don't have a border size so if I make this 10 an actual border would appear so that's the how the borders work but if you're not satisfied how this actually looks because the border would just follow the rectangle which is the frame this is kind of useful to uis that are like straight to the point with just the square functions the corner and what the other one is is what i call the ui corner so in order to add that you can use that to any f kind of frame uh, you can even use it to text button and how to add that is you just need to press on the plus button on your ui frame and type on UI corner enter it and you will see that we have a UI corner here and like the sizes how to adjust the sizes on your on the frames you would need to close off the zero in the offset so this is just a maximum of uh, zero the offset would be a zero and the scale of your corner ranges this is how curved it can be so if i add it a 100 it's not different to one so even if i put two it's just a maximum of one so i would suggest you to go to zero and just put one here because it doesn't really matter if you have a hundred or two hundred here it's just gonna be a one so if you like it like a real curve frame go to one but if you're going to a more re rounded rectangular go to point two or even point one would work or if you want you can just adjust it with with your perfect preference uh you can point three you can go to point four or you can go to point 35 even so this two are the ones I personally mainly use which is if I use the UI corner I won't be able to use the border so take note of that we're gonna tackle a different approach which you should which are using the image buttons but that's on another top topic for just frames you can use this kind of borders UI corner or that default border now if you're wondering why we cannot add the border it's because we have the UI corner and it's like removing the border so if I just delete this you can add the border again or the border that you previously set would appear so that's how it works on adding borders on your frame and I hope you found a uh, value on this video and if you do please do like the video and subscribe to our channel if you wish to learn more we upload daily and if you have any questions comment it down below and if you need any help with your game you can check us out at perlemongames.com
bye bye